Okay, I'm clean. Oh, I was taking a sip of my beverage. Oh, let's try it again. I'm clean. I, I was clean first. We're all clean. For ice cream. <laughs> Speaking of ice cream. Mm, I don't have any. I ate it all last night. What happened to the ones, the one I had left? I saw it in the back freezer earlier. In the back freezer? Yeah. I had put it in the front freezer. Mm, I don't know. Maybe somebody hit it on you? I don't know. I saw it in the back freezer. But we also have podcast beverages. <clears throat> Yum. Now, I think we're ready to do this. Oh, no, we didn't do the, the, the testing one, two, three. That was what I'm clean, you're clean this one. But, it's but, boring if we do the same thing every week. There was no numbers involved. I'm a numbers guy. I was one, you were two. There you go. Numbers. But I got clean first. See? First was a number. <laughs> Welcome to We'll Figure Figure It Out. This week on We'll Figure It Out, we are figuring out what are, oh, you know what we're not figuring out? Two different separate things. Oh, we're we're not a left and a right? Nope. We're equal. (gasps) Um, it doesn't look like it's doing much. Turn mine down. Turn down for what? I don't know. Let's see. That's better. I need to get closer, I guess. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Okay. I don't know how that's going to work with it not being recorded the correct way. One of these days, we're going to have a place to record where we are on opposite sides of the room and the other mic will not pick up. The other mic. Soon enough, soon enough, we'll just have to be in separate rooms, which would be really bad for me because she's the one with the headphones. (laughs) (laughs) I won't get to hear any of it. Well, I mean, we—if you're in a separate room, we'd have to do it like by Zoom or something. Or, or have another pair of headphones that would breach. Oh my God, that's a little excessive. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's try this again. Welcome to We'll, we'll figure, figure It, it out. out. On this week's episode of We'll Figure It Out, we're obviously learning how to actually record things still. And we're going to figure out emergency bathroom remodel and shenanigans. Definitely shenanigans. But not Shannon again. What's wrong with Shannon? <laughs> nothing. I have nothing against Shannon, whoever she is. It could be he. You are correct. It is a gender neutral name. Yes. So, anyhow. Anywho. Any why. Anyhow. Shenanigans. <laughs> All right. So. Let's explain to the people who have not followed us on Instagram, Mama Voice Nola, or on Facebook, Mama Voice Nola, or on Twitter, which I probably did not post a picture on Twitter because I forget about Twitter, but I'm still there, Mama Voice Nola. I don't have a Twitter. You're not a tweeter. Or a Twitterer. I'm not a twit either. <laughs> I'm going to say something else, but I'm going to refrain from saying the word I thought of. Yes, this is supposed to be family programming. Kind of, (laughs) sort of. We're going to have to revert back to the widget conversation. (laughs) I forget about what that went digressed into. (sighs) Lots of innuendo. (laughs) If you can guess what I was going to say... Go make a comment underneath the post for this podcast on Instagram or Facebook. The social media, um, what is that called? Platform? Yes, of your choice. Guess what I had to say. <laughs> I know my cows would know. 
Oh, Lord. <laughs> I love my cows. <laughs> That's just an inside joke for the people who will know. Sorry, none of y'all get to know. I don't even know. <laughs> You're going to know when we go to the bash on Saturday. I'm an outsider. You're the bolt of a heifer. <laughs> I have never been referred to as a bull, but okay. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I, it, it's, it's yeah. not even worth explaining. But carry on. I have friends, and we listen to a a, a podcast. And the podcast that we listen to is Real Life Real Crime with Woody Overton. And you may understand slightly if you listen to that podcast, or you may not. So, so should we should we dive into what our podcast what, what is our supposed podcast to be about? about? <laughs> All right, so I, oh, it's been a while since I've I've been able to podcast with you. Yes. So, the wheel in we'll figure it out is back here. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> for a few few podcasts there, it's just been D and you know whoever else might be involved in that podcast. So it was like she'll figure it out. <laughs> it's still wheel because it was another person with me. You're cheating on me. Okay. <laughs> With my sibling? No. <laughs> no. And the week before, we we skipped a week yeah, we because I was week. swick. I was swick. You were so swick. Oh, I hate being swick. And then the week before that, it was you and I. Mm -hmm. I forgot what we talked about. I forget too. And then, you know, you, uh, you had, you know, the time with Ty. That was like a month ago. But yeah. We recorded, because we recorded two episodes that we have not been able to release yet. And that's why we're all confused. Yes. <laughs> two episodes back to back that night. We did. <laughs> there was lots of podcast juice going on that day. Yeah, the, 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 the truth is, is that there's been a lot of stuff going on around here. And, you yeah. know, a lot of times we're not able to get the time set aside to where we can sit and podcast so yeah i mean we want to hang out with y'all and everything but you know life so the past two weeks last week i was supposed to have memorial day off but i was offered a bonus if i worked eight hours that day and i think i wound up working i think i worked at eight or nine i can't remember and then the week before i was offered a bonus if i did eight hours overtime <laughs> Which was a struggle because I have been just now getting like close to 40 hours a week since my whole neck issue had me laid up for a while. So, I mean, pretty much I'm done after my day of work almost every day. So fitting other stuff in has been difficult. And then, what day did that happen? What all started the... The thing we're going to talk about, which is the bathroom remodel. Oh, it was Saturday. It was last Saturday. We did the crawfish boil the Saturday, the Sunday before that? Yeah. So, okay. So, we had a crawfish boil the Sunday before Memorial Day, which was a whole day event. And I do have my video that will be coming up this week for that on the Mama Boys YouTube channel. And then the following Saturday, what had happened was, so we've had an ongoing issue with the bathroom upstairs. The sink is, well, it was, it's no longer there anymore, but it was Don't 50, spoil it. 50 something years old. <laughs> yes. And it was an old stamp steel coated sink. Well, it had started to rust through. So I was like, okay, well, we're planning on doing a remodel anyway, but now is not the right time, so we kind of we kind of put that off. And then of course the upstairs sink 
drain got backed up, which means the water wasn't draining out of the sink, which was now starting to leak out of the sink that was leaking through the rust spots. Into a tiny cup. That I don't know why we didn't put a bigger bucket there, but whatever. Anyhow, so it, it overflowed said cup onto the towel that the cup was sitting on. So the saturated towel underneath the cup it started allowing water to completely flow and eventually made its way down into the kitchen. Which we were sitting in the living room and we heard drip, drip, drip. And I'm like, what is that? Actually, you had left. You were, you had gone shopping with Sam when I went in there and found what was actually dripping. Oh, and then when I came back, I asked you if there was dripping and you said yes. Yeah. And you had already discovered the problem. Yeah, as soon as you walked through the door, I said, hey, honey. When did you want to do that uh, bathroom remodel? <laughs> and what did I say? Today, right? I said, well, it's going to have to be. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was only time before it started causing a problem through the, the kitchen. So our kitchen is right below pretty much half of our upstairs. And so it, yeah. Which we have to assess. We had to patch up some stuff with that ceiling since the patch job that the previous owners did was not nearly sufficient. No, it's gross. I mean, and there's like three different colors on our ceiling. It's disgusting. So we knew that was going to happen anyway. So we're going to have lots of sheetrock work in in our future. So when... We had been discussing, and I think we talked about this in our sinking funds video. What were we talking about? Um. Oh, so our sinking funds, I do believe that we had discussed the fact that our bathroom needed to be remodeled on that episode. I believe so. And we had been planning to put it off for a couple of months because the super secret thing was going to take precedence. But since Super Secret Thing has been postponed and or possibly canceled, we're still waiting to find out. Yeah. The bathroom remodel keep kept getting pushed off <laughs> even longer because Super Secret couldn't happen yet. When the leak happened, we had already started talking and actually even bought some of the stuff. We had some, we have the flooring, right? Yeah, that's all we had. We had bought the flooring. That was it. And we had looked at, we had gone to Lowe's one day and we had looked at a tub and a sink and Mm -hmm. cabinet and faucets Mm -hmm. and shower accoutrement. Yeah, those things. Whatever she said in French. (laughs) But yeah, we had been putting together, actually, Pretty much since we moved into the house, we had started putting together ideas of what we wanted to do with it. Sure, absolutely. Plans had changed back and forth, and you know we were gonna do a tile surround around the tub, and then we said, no, no, let's go and do a, you know, like a acrylic surround or whatever, Mm -hmm. you know, the 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 whole tub and and shower kit and all this stuff and. So, you know, we had a lot of things that were just kind of up in the air. Ah, your microphone's attacking you. It is. Because trying to do this in a bedroom on a bed with all of the contraptions we need. What if we move this over to your table? Because your table has less things on it. Okay. We had to make some adjustments. Now I forgot what I was saying. Okay. So, we had gone back and forth about... You know, what we were going to do with, you know, the tub and all this stuff and vanities and lighting and this and that and the other. Well, now we're in a crash course of where we had to figure it out. Hold on just a minute. Another interruption. (laughs) Crash course. (laughs) (laughs) What? I was talking about going into a crash course for figuring out what we needed to do with the bathroom. (laughs) What? We had we had years of careful planning of what we were gonna do in this bathroom. 
And, then... and it boils down to, shoot, we got to do it now. Right. So what are we going to do? <laughs> we got to figure it out. <laughs> yes. So since Saturday, we have ripped out, I guess, three quarters of the sheetrock. On the walls, at least. Yeah. We pretty... have we took out the sink, which and the the ca- the there counter was a... was a floating counter. Yep, it was a floating counter that was it was held to the studs crosswise with two by sixes. A very solidly built counter. Mm-hmm. Basically, it was tied into the studs in the wall. So, that sheet rock was going to have to come off no matter what. Let's see. And we see. Had the, the built-in linen closet mm-hmm. with, the, with the old school. It had the little flappy door that you could, you know, drop your dirty clothes into. So, it would go into the bottom of the cabinet. And then you had the big cabinet door that, you know, you pull out all your moldy clothes. They're moldy because the kids, you know, put, put towels wet towels in there. and everything in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know, and then sits there for weeks. Uh, <laughs> right. Yes. So that that built-in cabinet was <laughs> built also, better than half the walls in this house. <laughs> it was, you know, wasn't chintzily done. No, it was doubled up two by fours, the whole nine yards. It's like, was this a load-bearing <laughs> cabinet? I mean, right. It's it. <laughs> The way it was built, it seemed like it was like, it was, like I said, it was built better than half the walls in this house. It was some serious construction there. Yeah. And I still have the top section, the top plate I need to remove once I get the sheetrock down so that mm-hmm. I can do that without having to worry about cutting across that stud and hitting a, uh, a power wire because I think we have power going across. Mm there because that goes into the back wall of sam's room and, yeah yeah so we also found mold which we treated with some vinegar spray then wiped it down and we have the the door closed off with some what is that called um plastic the plastic stuff yeah that stuff and we double bagged anything that had mold on it to, before we took it out, trying to keep the mold from getting into our house. Surprisingly, there was not as much mold as I thought would be in there, but I mean, it was still... there. I was surprised to see some underneath the tile, which is a whole nother story. The tile. <laughs> Okay, so I can understand using, you know, a, a, a mortar bed to level out floor and stuff. I get that. <laughs> but in an upstairs bathroom, did it really require a two inch bed of mortar? <laughs> Maybe we should put that picture as the thumbnail. <laughs> Maybe so. I have a picture of him holding a chunk of it. He brought it down to me. I was working or editing or something, and he brought it down to me. He's like, hey, babe. <laughs> I started pulling up the floor. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? So, yeah, it looks like somebody had poured a cement slab on the second floor. And not only that, not <laughs> only that, but we also had two layers of tile because... There was blue tile underneath the pink tile. And if anybody knows, in the 60s and 70s, you got the pink tub or the blue tub and the blue toilet or pink toilet, and then the tile matches. And so I don't know if there was, like, a change last minute and, like, they decided to do pink, but the tub was pink. Was the blue tile over the tub? No. there was No tile was over the tub. Oh, they, the little lip? Right. They didn't right. have the, it Yeah, there's there. no lip on the bottom oh, of the okay. tub. So what, the way the bathroom was built was they put the plastic waterproofing underneath. Then they put the tub down. Then they 
put the they poured the slab. <laughs> so that doesn't make any sense that they had blue and then tile. They had the blue tile. If they poured the slab on top of the tub, why? Okay, that makes sense now because I really do think they were dripping on acid when they did this. I, I'm convinced now because they had the pink tub and the pink toilet, uh-huh. but they but had, they had blue the tile. blue tile. So somebody was like, "Wait a minute." Blue tile wasn't supposed to be on here. Let's just slap some pink tile on top of it. So I am convinced that the people who built this house, or at least the bathroom, were on acid. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I had known about that when we replaced the toilet. Mm-hmm. When I pulled the toilet out, the original toilet had the pink tiles butted up against the toilet, but underneath the toilet was the blue tiles. So they had laid it down, put the fixtures in, and then retiled the pink tiles. Okay, we keep saying blue and pink. It wasn't solid blue, solid pink. It was pink and off-white and blue and off-white tiles. Mm -hmm. They were the tiny one-inch tiles. Right, so interspersed into the off-white and gray was the blue. Which, if if anybody's seen those tiles, you know what they look like. So... It was, as we I've said since we purchased the house, that bathroom was period correct. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> okay. Little did I know that tearing this bathroom apart was going to be so intensive in such a small area. Yeah. <laughs> it is super small. So... You know, I got kind of scared looking at the how thick the floor was when we pulled down the the built-in cabinet because you could see the level of the original subfloor versus the level of the tile. You know, it was two two and a half inch difference. I said, "Okay, what is this all about?" Well, we found out what it was about, didn't we? <laughs> so. We are now at the point, okay, so we got most of the sheetrock torn out, that cabinet torn out, Mm -hmm. the the flooring, the floor is up, and the tub. Oh my god. The tub, okay, so before we even got to the point of where we were tearing out the tile, once we got the... The tub surround out, which is another story in and of itself, the tub surrounds were half inch thick acrylic surround and if anybody's ever messed with acrylic on walls this stuff is heavy Mm -hmm. so i had my middle son evan over to help pull some of this stuff apart he helped me pull the the acrylic panels so the side walls the panels were 30 two inches wide by like five feet tall yeah and so the side panels probably weighed close to 150 pounds a pop yeah okay so yeah that took two of us to get down the stairs the back wall is five feet wide by about five feet tall and i got got it to separate from the wall and there is the little hole cut out for the soap dish and stuff on there. <laughs> in the stud. Yeah, it's cut into the stud. Anyway, I'm going to reinforce that stud, by the way, before Ridiculous. we're okay. done. Yeah, um, good idea. So I grabbed it by that to lift it and kind of pull it away from the wall. And I looked at Evan and I said... We're going to have to break this before it comes out of here. Because there's no way that you and I can carry this down. This thing has to be close to 300 pounds. Wow. It hurt. Yeah. (laughs) To to lift it where I did. And that's the only time that that piece got lifted all in one piece. Yeah. Uh, You know, hollered out across the house and said, it's going to get loud. (laughs) Yes, you did. (laughs) And I had Evan step away and I stepped back and I had the two pound ball in my hand and just kind of reached across and whacked it <laughs> oh wow <laughs> said, when this thing starts to move if it gets too close jump back because this is going to be a guillotine oh my 
gosh. So we wound up having to smash it, I think, three times, oh, four wow. times to get it in small enough chunks to take it out. Yeah, and it was still heavy as all get out. Yeah. Uh, they were struggling to get it out with as small as they got it. Me and Jeremy worked this past weekend doing the sheetrock, pulling all the sheetrock off. Apparently, I I was really concerned about my, you know, discs in my neck and how my neck would respond to doing that much work. That was fine. I pulled muscles in the left side of my neck, though. And my lower back is trashed now. Or, as, as the young kids say, nerfed. I nerfed myself. It's a term is I that, learned. I, I, I listened to that podcast, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if that's what the usage for that word. I don't even know. I'm like been trying to figure out a way to work that into my vocabulary, but I can't and I won't. It's just I'm too old for that. Darn it. <laughs> get, get off my lawn. Newfangled terms. I'm going to be the cool mom and I'm going to say nerfed. See, I worked it in. I'll still just use my language that these these kids don't understand. <laughs> I basically threw my back out and I went, to, well, I went to the chiropractor and it kind of got worse and I probably need to call and try and get another adjustment next week because I don't think I can survive two weeks with the pain level I'm in. Yeah. So anyhow, back, back to, the, back to the bathroom. Back to the bathroom. Speaking of back backs. to the bathroom. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to put the ad in that spot oh my right gosh. there. <laughs> so we get the acrylic surround out and you know that's when i learned positively 100 percent. yep that's a cast iron tub oh yeah that's when you learned uh, that huh yeah i was hoping during the process before i could expose the edges of the tub that it was just going to be you know a stamped formed tub no I mean, I knew it was going to be metal, but I didn't expect it. I was hoping it wasn't going to be cast iron. So, cast iron tubs. Are heavy as all get out or shit, or, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Child present. It's not like any of the YouTubers you listen to don't say that word. Huh? Uh-huh, sure you do. I do. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm sure you do, buddy. Thank you. But you still hear it before you do. Yeah, because what? I use subtitles and go five seconds after and then see it in the subtitles? So anyway, my point is it's not a word you haven't heard before and you know you're not supposed to use it, so it's fine. Right? Right. Okay. Parenting of the year award <laughs> all right so we're, we were back we were talking about the uh cast iron tub and how heavy it is so i think i spent a couple of days contemplating how we were <laughs> going to deal with the cast iron tub <laughs> right. and i said all right well we'll deal with the cast iron tub after we get the flooring out because the flooring is in the way and i wanted to make sure that you know the flooring was clear of the tub and that wasn't going to be something that was holding the tub in place and this and that. So we finally get the flooring out. And I'm looking at this tub and I'm looking at this tub. And I took a pry bar against one of the studs hoping that the stud didn't give. And I got the tub to actually inch out a little bit. I'm like, huh. I wonder. So I, I moved it out enough to be able to get my fingers behind it in one of the studs. And I grabbed it and I pulled and yes, I was able to start to get it to tilt out. At which point, I hollered at my wife and said, If you're going to film it, film it now, because it's going to happen. <laughs> I was like, fine, give me a minute. I got to get upstairs, get the camera ready, blah, blah, blah. And I sat there waiting patiently, anticipating <laughs> pulling this tub out, thinking, you know, if I'm going to hurt myself, it's going to be on video. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have proof for the homeowner's insurance claim. <laughs> Look, all he was doing was moving the tub. He did it the right way. 
I'm sure it landed on top of him, but, you know. Whatever. No, it didn't. You did it perfectly fine. It was a smooth flip. It was like butter. So, so yeah, we've got that on film, and you can check that out at some point in time when we get that video. Oh, my gosh. When she gets that video edited. I should have said pivot when y'all are on the stairs. Oh, <laughs> man. I missed that editing gold. I mean, that video gold. <laughs> so, anyhow, so I spent some time trying to figure out how I was going to get this tub out of the bathroom on the second floor. This tub that weighs approximately 350 to 400 pounds. Maybe even more. I don't know. It took three of us to move on a dolly. Mm-hmm. So, I figure, all right, well, yeah, everybody says to smash it with a, you know, 16-pound sledge. I don't know the 16-pound sledge, and I don't want shrapnel flying around in this small room. It will ricochet, and it will, in fact, put my eye out. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Ralphie. (laughs) So, so I said, hey, I'll just get the sawzall and cut it. (laughs) So, two brand new torch blades later, and I have a slot (laughs) cut in one edge of the tub. (laughs) And I was like, I'm not going out and buying diamond tip blades just to remove a tub. So, I was like, alright, we're just going to get this thing out of here in one piece. So, got my son, Evan, over here, and then my son, Colin... Who lives here. Well, first Evan tried to pick up his end by himself. (laughs) And he was like, nope, not happening. So then we had to get Colin to get his shoes on. To to get in there. (laughs) So I grabbed the dolly from downstairs in the backyard and brought it up there. And we scooted the tub over and I put the dolly down. And I said, okay, we're going to lift this thing up and put it on the dolly. It took three of us. We got it on the dolly. Mm Mm-hmm. And got some tie-down straps and tied it to the dolly. Ratchet straps. Any If if you're going to do this, we highly suggest ratchet straps instead of whatever straps you have. I had just the regular tie-down straps. My only ratchet straps I have here are 12 feet, and those are in the traverse. traverse And the 20-foot ones, which would be like super overkill for what we're doing, because then I'd have to find something to do with the extra 18 feet of strapping. I mean, (laughs) we could have just, you know, wrapped it around 15 times and just, like, made it a sausage, but whatever. So, anyhow. (laughs) It wouldn't have come off the dolly like it did if we would have had And the only reason it came off the dolly was because the hooks for the straps wound up hitting the steps. Yeah. And popping them off. Right. But anyway. And it made it almost all the way down the stairs before it broke free. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like the third step to the last. Okay, I say broke free. Don't panic. It didn't, like, come flying off and go zooming down the it stairs. It lifted two inches off of the dolly. And then, basically, as it was going over the edge of the step, it lifted two inches, and then it slammed all down. And so, it didn't move off the dolly. It just moved off. Up. It shifted. Yeah, it shifted up about two inches. But um, so he had to wind up restrapping it like twice before we got to the last step. <laughs> yeah. So and and the way we wound up doing it is, of course, I was behind the dolly on the top end of it, pushing and lifting at the same time, and my two sons were on the bottom end of it. To make sure it didn't go flying. Yeah. To stop counterweight. To stop it when it was going down the step. So I'm thinking we probably spent a good minute plus per step. Easily. I think it was like 15 minutes of video by the time we we ended. Because of having to stop and restrap it twice. Yeah. But so. I mean we, we took our sweet time going down the stairs. There oh for sure. going to be no rush in this thing. Mm-mm. And I think at one point in time, the back wheels of the dolly landed on one of my feet. Oh, goodness. Uh, it was okay. It wasn't It wasn't like it smashed my foot. It was just yeah. like on it. So we finally got it out there and got it to the front yard. I had to move cars so we could get it around yes. the front yard to get it into the garage. <laughs> well, I thought you were going... Evan didn't have to move if I 
had thought you were going to well, to the garage in the first place. But we, after Evan moved his car, we decided to just put it in the garage for your friend to come pick it up when he's available so he can scrap it. Yeah, either that or to be able to break it apart at some point in time. Because I do have a plasma cutter, so I'm going to try that on it if nothing else. But putting this 400-pound tub on the street is... Not. I foresee the tub sitting on the street for a good long while because no one's going to pick that thing up. I mean, and then we did discuss if no one picked it up, making a koi pond. And my suggestion is if we were going to make it into a koi pond, we could have just pushed it out the window of the bathroom and it would have been closer to where we needed it for the koi pond. But the bathroom window is not wide enough. So we would have taken out half our house. I think the bathroom needs a bigger window anyway. We could <laughs> open that up. <laughs> you know, that's not, not, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But that's the problem for the next owner because I'm not replacing that window. <laughs> no. Because this is not, we have decided that this is not our forever home because at some point we're going to have children moving out which one is about to move out because he's in the process of purchasing his own condo and and then you know samuel's going to be 18 in two years he might want to move out who knows or we'll buy, build him a tiny house and he can move out into a tiny house what he's looking at me like really really that's what we're gonna do <laughs> When he turns 18, he can buy his own tiny house. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't say I was going to purchase it, but I said we would build it, you know? So that has been our adventure over the last week and a half. We're at Tuesday, so it's almost a week and a half. Wait, we're not at Tuesday yet. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I, I mean, we're only a few hours away from Tuesday. Don't rush me. <laughs> By the time this is posted, it'll be Thursday. So. Or Friday, depending on how long it takes me to edit this. You know, the bad thing about this cast iron tub is it's just a run of the mill cast iron tub. If it was a nice claw foot tub. Right. We could well, sell it for millions. Well, if it was a claw foot tub, I'd say we'd keep it. Yeah. Replace another tub in another house. At another time? No, we would have kept it here. Just oh, it around it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Lift it. <laughs> we put it on jack stands. <laughs> Lay the floor underneath it. <laughs> we got Take enough jacks some... around here. <laughs> Get a pulley system and lift it up. Hang it up from the yes, ceiling. Yes, from the rafters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At first, reinforce your rafters, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a project that would be fun, but I mean, it wasn't a claw tub, so. We're already going to have tons of insulation falling in from the attic when I pull the sheetrock from the ceiling. <laughs> I'm so glad my back is hurting and I can't help you. Oh, darn. I hate insulation. What? I, I still think that we should, like, poke holes in it and, like, take the shop back and suck out all because it's the loose stuff it's actually a combination there's the the original loose insulation that was up there and then they had previous owners had had uh the rolling insulation laid up there oh, okay. so we have a combination of the two i just think that under the roll down roll in uh insulation is loose insulation so it's going to make a mess no matter what we do just hold on you want to tell the podcast hi? Hi. Do you want to tell them good night? Good night. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back to the podcast. All right. So, yeah, we were talking about the insulation and stuff. Yes. So, no matter what way we turn, we're probably going to make a mess with the insulation. So, I'd rather it make a mess on you than on me. <laughs> I'll just go in with full hazmat suit. I, I mean, that's what I would do with goggles. We don't have a hazmat suit. We can get one. I don't know. We can at least get the, like, full jumper suit with the hood, you know? Like, the painter thing. I don't know. what I don't know what you call those. What do you call those? Coveralls. With a hood? 
coveralls with a hood? Cover it all with a hood. I don't know. So, this episode of We'll Figure It Out is stuff that we've already semi-figured out. Yeah, I mean, it's basically a rundown of what we've done, because we figured out how to do it. So, if you wanted to do it, we were just, you know, letting y'all know how we did it. So, if you wanted to try and tackle a bathroom reno on your own, I mean, if you're able-bodied and not crippled like me, or prone to injury. I think what she's saying is she's done. (laughs) <laughs> I am done with that bathroom, but uh, I am glad I was able to help you some because I did not know if I was going to be physically able to do it. I can see what's going to happen, though. She really loves mudding and taping sheetrock. Uh, I mean, I'm not bad at it. It's not that I love it. Okay, I do get some satisfaction out of it. <laughs> so, yes, that that will be my job. <laughs> <laughs> because I can definitely do it better than all the mudding and uh, taping that everybody else did when they patched up all the poles in this house. Are you referring to when I did some repairs? No, I'm talking about previous to us owning this house. <laughs> no, you you did better. You did better than the people that patched things around here, too. I would hope I did better than the people that did the patchwork on the house that I rented. Oh yeah, the one the one we moved from to here. Yes, you don't remember uh, being able to see a four foot cut line on every wall in the house. Yes, because of flooding on whatever flood that was. What Katrina? Well, the last one was Katrina. I can yeah. guarantee you that flood that house flooded in seventy eight. And 89 95. and 95 mm-hmm. and <laughs> yeah all the nice big floods so we are going to continue to figure out this bathroom which this week we're going to be working on pulling the rest of the sheetrock getting all of the insulation out of the ceiling that comes with the sheetrock from the ceiling we have to go pick up sheetrock to replace it we're going to go with green sheet rock yes. on the walls and the ceiling because people around here like to take hour showers i think we're going to start paying having them pay rent for the utilities <laughs> <laughs> have them put a quarter in for every 15 minutes there you go there you go (laughs) and we're going to install a fan that's going to help with the moisture and which is going to help with not having mold in the bathroom so that's going to that's going to help it even just that is going to help but we're also going to go with green sheet rock from top to bottom because i'm not playing i don't do mold and then so we still have to get that but we have the tub we have are we we are we're still deciding on a cabinet and sink whether we're gonna get a box store cabinet and sink combo or if we need to do custom maybe not custom cabinet we can probably find a cabinet that'll fit but we might have to do a custom top because of the where the water lines are we may have to offset the sink to fit it in the right area and then we also need to look for a linen cabinet of some sort that is going to be less deep than the one that was 24 to 26 inches deep. And you could barely reach things in the back, and it was ridiculous. So, And we're not going to have a floating counter. We're going to have a cabinet underneath it, possibly some drawers, depending on what we can find that fits. And the floor we got from the Habitat for Humanity Restore. And I kind of want to go and see if we can find any other stuff there and save some money. Because the cabinet that we looked at, and I don't know, sometimes they have countertops. I don't know if they would have what we want, but it's worth trying. I know the last time we went, they did not have anything that I would desire in their bathroom. 
No, I, I agree, but that doesn't mean that they didn't get anything that we would desire now. I think we just need to keep going, you know, a couple times, a, like at least once a week until we're at that point and just shop and see what they got. Yeah, I'm still... I'm still leaning to the 36, the initial 36, because I did some research on on how to make that one work. Oh, you did? But, okay. Because that one would be cheaper than what we were looking at. Right. They're not saying I'm trying to be cheap, but I'm cheap. No, I mean, it, it, what, we are, what we're looking at is quality. It's just not high and we're not going to put high end stuff in that bathroom anyway because four to five to six boys take showers in it okay four to five at times and so it's not going to stay nice it's going to be a pain in the butt to you know and if we have to wind up replacing something before we leave we don't want to have to replace a high end piece of something I'd rather replace something that's cheaper right <laughs> you know so I'd rather have something in there that I won't get upset if it gets too abused. Exactly. Exactly. And that's that's my my view on it at this point is okay, we need something in there that if we buy something that's two hundred bucks and it lasts us two, three years, I'm fine with it. Yeah, me too. You know, if we buy something that you know, we're paying eight, nine hundred dollars plus four and it's not getting cared for in the first year. Uh, yeah. It's, it's going to be gonna bothers be yeah. bothersome. That's going to uh, aggravate both of us because, you know, boys. I think I think we're at a wrap. We would love to know if y'all have ever had to renovate your bathrooms ever. If you've done an upstairs bathroom and I would really like to know if anyone knows why. Why would they put a two-inch slab, basically. A bed of mortar. A bed of mortar on an upstairs bathroom that obviously was higher than the floor. It's not like they had to, like, build it up to match the floor in the hall. It was, like, clearly, like, two yeah. inches higher inch and a half higher than the hallway floor yeah you would trip going into the bathroom from the hallway mm -hmm. so you know if anybody can explain that to us we would love to know what that was about and everybody i've i've discussed this with we are all our conclusions are they were tripping acid yeah, so there's there is no reason for two inches <laughs> i can understand a half inch three quarter inch even an inch. Yeah, even an inch. Just to make sure, like, you know, to help level out the floor or something. But I just don't see two inches. Yeah, that's just weird. So, yeah, if you, anybody knows why or has ever seen that before, we'd love to know. So, hit us up on our socials. And please don't forget to rate us on, if you enjoyed this content, give us a five-star review. It helps us get our podcast out to other listeners. And maybe we can help them figure some stuff out. And maybe y'all can help us figure some stuff out, too, because sometimes we're just clueless. <laughs> but I think for the most part, we, we're pretty good at uh, figuring stuff out. We, we always wind up doing it, at least, you know, sufficiently enough to pass yeah. basic standards. <laughs> or our needs, you know? So, I, I think we're done. Are you done? I'm done i'm i'm so overdone my back is killing me so we're gonna wrap this up and we appreciate you listening to us please share like forward email anyone you think that might enjoy this content we really appreciate you sharing our podcast with others y'all join us here next week how do i end this usually Join us next time so we can figure it, it out. out. Nope, that's not what nope. We hope that you will join us on our next episode when we'll, when we'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. <laughs>